Do you find yourself frequently exceeding your data limit? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how to avoid data overages on your phone. Just when everyone got used to having an unlimited amount of bits to consume with their smartphones each month, the two largest carriers in the U.S. pulled the rug out from beneath us. Pressures on wireless networks around the world from a massive influx of data users over the last several years has forced the rapid expansion of 4G technology. Those who were lucky enough to keep their grandfathered unlimited plans now get to enjoy the pleasures of LTE without limit. But for some, the introduction of LTE was bittersweet. It came alongside dreadful tiered data plans, both with hard and soft caps. Those with soft caps can continue to use data once they've reached their monthly allowance, only at heavily throttled speeds. But those on a tiered or shared data plan with a hard cap face overage fees if they hit their limit before the month's end. Fortunately, there are several ways to save your bits and avoid data overages. This may sound fairly self-explanatory, but the best method is to rely on Wi-Fi whenever it's available. Too often, I catch myself leaving Wi-Fi off when I'm at the coffee shop and streaming Spotify over wireless data for hours on end, when I realize I end up kicking myself over the 500 megabytes of data I could have saved myself. Most Android phones, and the iPhone by default, will notify you when you're in range of an open network. So long as you have permission, connect and enjoy the free internet while it lasts. Of all the things we may download, applications and games can sometimes be the most taxing on our data allowance, chewing through hundreds of megabytes and sometimes several gigabytes at a time. For our sake, both Google and Apple have put safeguards in place to keep us from accidentally blowing through our data allowance by downloading a large file from Google Play or the App Store. On iOS, you can't download an application or update larger than 50 megabytes over 3G or 4G. You must connect to Wi-Fi before the download will begin. On Android, you are simply notified that you will be downloading a large file and prompted to use Wi-Fi. Also on Android, you have the option to automatically update applications, which is great considering developers are constantly pushing updates to the Play Store. It gets to be overwhelming updating all the applications manually all the time, but Google also added the option to automatically download updates over Wi-Fi only, a simple yet necessary feature. For any files you may have automatically uploading, such as pictures to PhotoStream, Google+, or Dropbox, make sure you select the option to only upload over Wi-Fi as well. This will save a ton of precious bits, especially if you're a notorious photo snapper. In terms of media, the cloud can be your best friend or a terrible enemy. Streaming media, while generally quite convenient, is a data hog. Just a few hours of streaming Spotify, Pandora, or even Google Music can eat up several hundred megabytes of data. Through some of those streaming services, however, you can download some of your favorite tracks to play locally. Spotify, for example, allows premium users to create and save playlists to their device for offline listening. Downloading these just one time, especially if you do it over Wi-Fi, can save you quite a bit of data. The same can be said of purchased music from Google Music or iTunes. This can usually be done with videos too. With YouTube on Android, you have the ability to preload your subscriptions and watch later videos while on Wi-Fi. Movies or television episodes you purchase from Google Play can be downloaded to your Android devices for offline viewing, or the same for television episodes and movies purchased from iTunes on your iDevices. Podcasts, videos, and music can easily account for the majority of your data consumption, so any way you can curb your streaming consumption, the better. Or, of course, just rely on Wi-Fi when you can. If all else fails, you might want to consider upgrading your data plan to a larger one. Sure, that means your bill will cost more than it does now, but chances are, if you keep exceeding your cap, you can more than likely get more data for the same amount of money you pay for each overage. If you're going over your cap each time anyway, you might as well make the best of the extra money. So that's all we've got for you this time. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on your favorite social networks, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.